Welcome back to In The City. I'm here at the Vale today where it's not just the weather that's going to be putting a dampener on the day. Some of the boys got involved in the ice bucket challenge and so did some other unlucky individuals. As you can see, the boys are behind me kicking off their training session for the day. We've got Kenwin coming up on the show, but first we spoke to Ollie ahead of facing wolves on Saturday. Tough game because I've watched them now and they've started really well. Uh, they've had a great run on the Kenny jacket. They've got their uh, same team. Uh, they've got the continuity. Uh, they've got a, a base to build from there now. They did really well beating Fulham uh, last night and they beat Norwich in the first game. They're going to come with loads of energy thrown at us and we've got to be ready for that. Um, tough game. And it's the first of three successive away games now. It's going to be a tough ask for the boys over the next week. Oh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Port Vale will be again uh, a chance for the ones who have not played so much in the league to play and uh, prove to me that they, uh, they're ready for the league uh, matches. We've gotten off to a good steady start and the manager went on to tell us what he thinks of the season so far. I wanted us to be better with the ball, dominate games more, but of course we've really performed well as a team defending. We've stuck together, the attitude, work rate has been excellent. And four games into the season you got uh, three wins and a draw. The Capital One Cup was a good game for everyone to show themselves and in the league of course we've got the results we've uh, hoped for. It's been a particularly good start for Kenwin. Wits has described him as a player who's going to be key for us throughout the season. Do you agree? Oh, well, I think we've got loads of players with that little bit of X-factor uh, that will be key for us at certain points in different games. And of course, Kenwin has been a big, big uh, part of our start of the season. So yeah, he'll, he'll be important for us. And, uh, but a key player, everyone, everyone is going to play a key part. We're going to have match winners in both ends. We're going to have players like Wits, uh, Maggie, Matt. Provide, Bill Kinton now providing goals for, uh, for our strikers, defenders blocking as they've done, Marsh is saving as they've done. So it's been it's for, up to every single one of them to be the one that makes a difference. We've had a good pre-season with all these players. So Fabio, for example, came in last year, Kenwin came in last year. On the back of a few seasons without playing games, I knew the quality there. I knew about the players that they will uh, make a difference for us. I was hoping it was ha happening earlier. I was hoping we can get him up to speed last season, but we didn't. But now you can see uh, what I've seen. Uh, Ken wins always terrorised defenders when he's been fit. Fabio's played for Brazil. He's, he's been at Man United for X amount of years, so there's good players there. And how about from your point of view then as a manager? How It's a new experience for yourself. How are you finding the championship? So far. I have to say I love it. I lo I'm a football man and I love games and I love people or players wanting to improve and the group of players we've got here now, they know they're a part of something bigger than themselves. That it's not about me, I'm going to get an X amount of goals. It's about us pushing for promotion, pushing for a team that's going to show we're united and together. Because we're, that, that's what it's all about in this league. Attitude, work rate, togetherness. We've not played great, but we've uh, showed that. Well, he's gotten off to a cracking start with three goals in three league games so far. So we sat down with Kenwin Jones this week and he told us exactly what life is like in camp right now. Well, the mood around the club, uh, I think, is fantastic. Um, we come out, we have a banter like normal. <laughs> we, we, we train hard as normal and you know, we're more or less preparing for the game. Um, everything that's happening outside of that, I think that's for the, the paper pushers to deal with. I believe that, I believe in the, 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 the squad that we have. I believe that we're strong enough and I think it would be down to us. Um, we're going to have some, some bad days, maybe some, some odd times, but the more we keep consistent, I think um, we'll be able to do, to do well. Kenwin went on to look ahead to Saturday's trip to the Molyneux. I expect it to be a tough game like any other game. Um, we're going away from home. Um, obviously, they have a buzz because um, they won the last game. And they also um, came back up from League One and the club for them is looking like they're back on the up. 
So we're going to have to go there and expect a tough game. I think every game in the championship, home or away, is going to be a tough game, you know. Um, until you, I think, get to that state where, as um, like previous winners before, when they were constantly winning games, you know, you, you, you built up that, uh, that, that, <laughs> that luck and that fear factor. So um, there's quite a long way to go for us. We just have to keep training hard, trying to play well and, and being consistent in the results that we're getting. This week, Cardiff City is proud to announce its partnership with new club sponsors, Norwegian family clothing brand Skogstad. Here's some vowel legends behind us, but it was one footballing legend in particular, namely Steven Gerrard, who has kick-started the craze around the Bluebird camp here in Cardiff by nominating his fellow scouser Craig Noon to take the ice bucket challenge. Steven Gerrard kicked things off by nominating Noonie. Stevie G, I accept your ice bucket challenge nomination. And he is a face you didn't think you'd see on in the city again Ice. anytime soon. It's oh, Fraser Campbell. Yeah. Who nominated Nikki? Fraser Campbell, I accept your ice bucket challenge. Let's go! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And so that got the ball rolling at the veil. Now here's Pilkington. Thanks to Pinnacle Forbay and Paul Green for nominating me. I now nominate Gary Hooper, Gary Roberts and Sean Mother Morrison. Woo! That's a tall push. And even the development boys got involved with Macaulay Southam. Cheers for the nomination, man. Uh, I nominate Jay Bowen, Bree Seeley, Tom James, Danny Johnson, Andy Bell, Theo Watt, and Tommy O'Sullivan, Lee Parker. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Then it was the turn of the staff. Here's Mark Denham. <laughs> Who was ever so kind in nominating me. Thanks to Mark Denham for my nomination and I nominate James White, aka Flaky, David Marshall and Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer. And now we're back to Ollie, who continued to stress the importance of the fans backing in generating that sense of belief. Yeah, I've met supporters. Uh, you go to Waitrose, Marks and Spencer, whatever, wherever you go, and it's well done, and we really cheer you on, and you, you can feel that positive and optimist, uh, enthusiastic feeling again. And that's it's great for us, because that's what we work for. We work for performances and results and for this club to be a happy place to be. Debut performances for Pilkerton and Morrison, yeah. how are they settling in? Oh, they've been great. They've uh, come in, showed their quality. Uh, Sean played a, a full game, did really well. Had some last ditch uh, defending to do a couple of times. He shows his pace and Anthony came on and gave us some uh, pace. With a season-long loan of KTC to St Etienne, which was announced this week, can we expect any more movement in the transfer window? You know, when you've got players uh, like KTC really wanted to go back home for different reasons, you don't want to stand in their way. We will need uh, all the players this season, uh, but I, I'm, I was happy to let him go. But you don't know, it might something, something might happen towards the end. Because we've started well, someone might just come in and pinch one or two, we hope not because we don't have to do anything. So with that dramatic build up to the last few moments. Yeah, 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 it is. Uh, I'll be sat here with uh, my phone off on the, on the last day of the transfer window. 